Hi, I'm Liam Milan, and in this video, we're going to look at moving your Ableton Live library. Before we do this, let's just discuss why we might want to do it. If we want to increase the maximum performance of our desktop computer-based system where we've got multiple internal drives, it can make sense to have our actual operating system use one of the drives, and then we can use another drive within our computer that can actually handle all the Ableton Live files so we get more uh, increased performance from it. Or another case might be that we actually want to free up some space. So let's say we've got a laptop like this and you've got a limited amount of space and maybe increasing the actual storage space is prohibitive financially. So you need to figure out another way of dealing with the data of the Ableton Live library. You can use something like this, like a fast performance external drive, plug this in and then move the library over to this drive. Only disadvantage of this is you'll need to have this plugged in to access that library, but you can still use Ableton Live itself as it is. You just put the main larger storage files on the external drive. So for instance, if the Ableton Live suite full packs are installed, you're looking at 50 to 60 gigabytes of data. So it can take up a lot of space on your uh, computer. So what I'm gonna do is go to Live Preferences, and then go to the library tab. So the folder packs is where the additional library content goes. So you can either do this from the pack section, and if you haven't got all the packs, you can add them by downloading them directly in the browser, or you can download them from the actual Ableton Live website when you're logged into your account. If you have them all installed and you wanna move them across to another location, it's as simple as going to browse, choosing your external drive in this case, going to open and it will say, do you want to move these existing packs to the new installation directory? If you choose yes, it will copy all those files across for you. It will take a while to do it, but once they're there, from that point onwards, Ableton Live will look to that external drive for the location of the packs within your Ableton Live library. Other options that we have is our user library, which is everything that's stored here. So it can be your custom preset savings, your custom groove templates, the defaults you've saved for certain plugins, um, and also any clips that you save that are custom to your own content. That can get saved in there. And if you move the user library location, that can also fit on an external or another hard drive within your computer too. Finally, another place that we can sort of point Ableton Live to in terms of having it look to another location for uh, different files is we have what we call a temporary folder, which is where it stores recordings that we make before we save and actually have it, the files saved into the folder of that Ableton Live set. So it's a temporary space. We can have that on an external drive or another internal drive just by relocating it to the browse button there. there. And then we have the decoding cache. And this is the files that are generated. If you drag in a file that's not a native file, so like an MP3, it will convert it to a .wav file while you use it. And then that decoded file will go into this decoding cache area as well. So we've looked at why we might want to move data to other internal drives in our computer or an external drive. And we've also distinguished the different types of files that can get stored in Ableton Live between the Ableton Live library content the user library, and the various other locations used for temporary files as well.